All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another on-demand Callahan Scrotty class. We have still need a name for this thing, uh, but. So today we're going to be working on the ground, so make sure you have a nice kind of clear space. If you have some mats or a yoga mat or a towel even, this can help you pad the ground a little bit. It will work out better. Um, so, stay with me. We're going to be doing a lot of ab exercises, maybe some planks and all that fun stuff right there. So, attention dance, sir. <laughs> Meditation. Move it up, sir. And we're going to head right into a regular plank hold. So you want to keep your back nice and straight, everything in line, hands or shoulders over your hands, and I want to have my hands right under there. So not going too wide, not going too narrow, just right here. If you want for more stability, you can spread out your feet. And I want to be looking about a foot in front of where my hands are. Now keep your neck in line with the rest of your body. And let's move on down to an elbow plank hold. Make sure you control your breathing. Good job. Now it's going to go into a one-handed plank. So you're going to put one hand on the ground. You're going to turn your body, open it up, and bring one hand towards the sky. Now when I do this, you can either have your feet separated for more stability, or you can stack them to make it a little bit harder. So the same thing, other side. So once again, you can stack your feet to make it harder, or separate for more stability. Good job. Going to move into a left position hold. You're going to have your legs straight out like this. Engage your core, hands out like so. And do your best to hold still. You're going to balance that tailbone really. Nicely done. Bring your knees in. Now we can do mason twists from here. So a mason twist is when you clasp your hands and you're gonna to touch either side of your hip. If you have a medicine ball, like you got moved. If you have a medicine ball, you can use that and use it from side to side as well. I would go about maybe like two to five pounds really. Anything heavier than that seems to be really challenging. If you want to go for the challenge, go for it. So clasp your hands, balance on the tailbone once again, and you're gonna tap either side of your hip. If you want more of a challenge, you can go faster. I'm keeping my legs bent. If you want more of a challenge, you can then go out straight. That makes it a little bit harder. So you're combining the last two activities. Good, balance on the tailbone once again. And relax. Okay, nice little rest right there. Control your breathing. Now we can go into crunchy frogs. So a crunchy frog is when I'm here. This is kind of the up position. The down position is gonna be legs are going to get separated and you're gonna go straight out. And your arms are gonna go from kind of tucked in all the way up. So I do one slow. I'm going down, separate my legs all the way flat and back up. Ready, set, go. Flat, up. These are really challenging. If you want more challenge, you can go a little faster. And relax. Nice job. Another rest. Okay, move into regular sit-ups. 
If you have a partner, what they can do is hold your feet, or they can also um, hold their hands open like this, and what you would do is you would go sit up, punch, punch. That's one way to work on it too. So I can go back, down, up, punch, punch, boom. If you had a partner, you could actually interlock your legs, and one person would go up with their hands open, one person would go with their punches. Down, pop, pop. And remember, everything can be done at a fast pace or a slow pace. You can also do elbow strikes, like elbow, elbow. Elbow, elbow. Good job, now the rest. Okay, now we're going to do some leg lifts. So a leg lift, make sure you're keeping your legs straight. You can use your hands under your back. What you really want to be taking your belly button and in in your uh, lower back and pushing it into the ground for the maximum challenge, really, or maximum proper form. I don't want to be down here arching my back. I want to keep everything nice and tight, tuck to the ground, have my hands by my side, go straight up, control down. I really only got to go to a 45 degree angle and back down. My heels never touch the ground, just slowly going up and down with my leg lifts. You want more of a challenge, hands out to the side or under your head. You also can slower or slow down your lower in position. That gets it a little bit harder. Good. And now we're going to do a leg lift kind of hold. So I'm gonna hold my legs a few inches off the ground. So they're off the ground, keeping everything nice and tight, pushing my lower back into the ground for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knees into your chest. Doing great so far. Couple more things we can do from here. Alternating leg lifts, you can work on those at your own pace. What you also can do is a more crisscross one. So I'm going out, crisscross, back and forth. And then one more would be flutter kicks. These are all just ideas for you to work at your own pace. So I can go flutter kicks, I can go crisscross, I can go alternating, and then hold. Those are all three or four really good different options for you to work on. One more of my favorite ab exercises is called gut busters. So gut busters kind of combine a leg lift and a sit up. So for my gut buster, I want to put my legs straight up into the air and I'm going to do a crunch from here. You're trying to just bring your shoulder blades off the ground while keeping your legs straight up. So I go crunch back up. Those are really challenging, especially at the end of all this. So those are all just different ideas for you to work on at your own pace. Um, feel free to go back and rewind this video and look at them again. If you have any questions, please feel reach out to us. Hope you're enjoying these little videos. Um, you can focus on different body groups or different activities each time. And like I said at the beginning, everything is for time not repetition, so you can do as many as you feel um, appropriate for yourself. So, hope you're all having a fun little winter break. We'll look forward to seeing you in class soon. Keep posting all these videos. Nice job. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye, everyone.